What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with Infinifactory and we're back getting into the final level of this whole section. So we'll see what happens after we beat the aerial combat shuttle. We looked at this puzzle at the end of last video, but uh, it, it doesn't seem too complicated. We just have to make a lot of different parts and I figured it was going to take a little bit of time. So that's why we, we're coming back today, we're going to get this done and then we'll see what happens with the rest of the campaign. So we have to build this creation from a bunch of different blocks. Uh, so first I guess we'll just build the body and then see where we go from there. So where do the body parts come out? Let's run this thing. That's the shuttle. Okay, so those are the front pieces. So what's over here? Where's what's over here? Okay, so there's where the main body comes out and that's where the thrusters come out. Okay, so we'll build the body here. All right, so the body consists of two rows of three and then stacked on top of each other and then next to two. So it's like four rows of three total. So it's gonna be 12 total if we want to build it. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, it's going to be 12 total, but we can actually do this in just two sections of, of three rather than a whole lane of 12 with 12 pistons because we can just have it repeat the same two sections over and over again and then stack them on top of each other and it should work fine. So we'll have one section go out there and then we'll put welders on top here like this. Okay, so that should weld everything, and then the sensor needs to be here. No, out one more. Okay, perfect. And uh, when it gets out to there, we'll have it just automatically move off in that direction. And the pistons will automatically go off in the other direction. Okay, so this is good. Alright, so that should give us two sections, and then we gotta weld this section. Right, right, we gotta weld this one. So this one... Of course we can't weld it because it's in the way Perfect actually we can just do this. That's fine. I think All right, so here we go. So one two three It's welding. It's welding Yeah, perfect. Okay, so that's two sections and then we just need to stack them and then somehow get rid of the stack So we're just gonna bring this one over here and this one will just come straight and go over that way. All right, and this should make the shuttle and then we'll just have to figure out how to get rid of it. All right, so we'll just go, perfect, perfect, perfect. Done, that's two. Stacks. Excellent. And there's the second half. Perfect, and then we just have to get rid of the whole thing somehow. You know what we can do? We can just make an AND gate and have it so it has to have two sensors that activate so both a top and a bottom piece before it deploys the piston. So we'll just make it activate both of those sensors before it deploys uh, this one piston. That's that's how we'll have to do it. All right, so to make an AND gate, we're just going to have this one come out here. And this will be the one signal that goes to, let's say, a piston. And then on top of the piston, we'll have a conduit piece here that will fall into position. And then the other signal will come out of this one and go like that. Okay, so that piston has to push it into position. And then, of course, we need a piston here to push it back if it's not good. We need a down sensor for that one. Okay, so we'll grab this. And there we go. So that... Oh, now we're going to have to put this up another level. Hold on. Perfect. Okay, so that conduit piece will fall. That'll push. This will push that back. And then this completes the and condition like so. So there we have an AND gate. Alright, so this should work now. We'll fast forward. Okay, so the one is gonna land. See, it doesn't do anything. Now it pushes the conduit into the piece. And there we go. Perfect. So now it'll actually eject it properly and we'll get rid of the body like that. Alright, so now we're building the body of the vehicle. No problem. Simple AND gate there. So yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything until that first sensor activates that piston, and then the second sensor completes it, and then boom, there goes the one body. Alright, so that is perfect. We gotta put the engines on it, I guess, because the engines come out of this thing right here. And the engines, they come out in the right direction as well. Alright, so we're gonna go build the whole thing back in here, I guess, and then, oh, we can actually warp it up. Do you see that? There's a hole in the floor. That is actually perfect, so we can bring it up here through this hole in the floor. Excellent. Okay, so we'll build the whole assembly out here. So we need to build the engines into two sets of three. Uh, so that's easy enough, I guess. We'll just do this. And uh, we'll just have it do it right here. 
So that'll be one set of three, which will just get welded like that. And uh, it can just drop out or whatever. And then the second set of three we'll put over here. Whoops, there we go. And it should be one, two, whoops, one more. Is that right? I think that's good. All right, so this should be good at making two sets. Uh, I guess we need to have something here to get rid of this second one. Here we go. So this should actually make two sets of engines no problem in the same way we did that, that one up there. We're going to do the same thing down here. So here we go, making one engine. Come on. Okay, so there's two engines just like that. And then we'll feed them into the body assembly. I don't... We're going to probably have to stage them because this body's going to take a while. So we'll bring this over to here and we'll drop it down into a staging area. Which I think is close enough like that. Alright. Yeah. All right, so this should actually be perfect. It'll deploy the two engines and drop them right into position, and then the body will actually drop over the engines and drop down. We'll just have to adjust the amount of conveyors we have depending on how this lines up. So we'll just make sure... So they're going to be fully forward. Is it supposed to be dead synced like that? I don't, I don't actually know. Is that how it's supposed to be? No, the engines are supposed to be back one. Okay, so we just need to, we need to adjust this a little bit. So we'll just put a block here... Okay, now they should be good. And then we just need to weld that whole assembly somehow. All we're going to do is we're just going to build up here. And we're just going to put a, a dual layer of welders there. And then we just need a piece on the outside. And this should connect that weld stream up like that. Perfect. And then this one connects that one up. And that should weld the whole ship. And then we just need to feed that whole body off. And actually, we should be able to do this. Oh, Okay, you know what? We just need to we just need to stage these. That's fine. We'll just hold off on the thruster pieces. Wait until the second set comes. That way the body's in position first. Oh no, the thruster. Okay, that's not that's not good. This is Actually, no, that's fine. We'll just lower these down and have them drop into position. All right, so now we've got all the thrusters dropping into position. We should be good to go here. And it should drop the body first, stage the one set of thrusters, and then they'll drop into position and get welded properly. And then we can just have a sensor trigger a piston or something on one of the thrusters. Alright, so here comes the body. It's going to drop down, get in the weld beam. Perfect. Okay, here comes the second set of thrusters. And drop into position. And drop into position. Excellent. And then what we'll do is we'll just really simply put a piston here. Like that, hook it up to a sensor here, and that should push this whole assembly out of the way, which then will take along this path, and hopefully get that out of there, and we'll bring it up there with a couple lifters. Hopefully, if this, it, I'm, I'm hoping this actually works, in that we have enough space. Should be good. All right, perfect. There you go. Excellent. Okay, so then we'll just bring this guy up. So I've made the craziest conveyor build ever to get these stupid shuttles all the way over. I don't know why they give so much space in this area. I mean, maybe they're expecting you to drop all the parts down or something, but we had to do so many lifters, four lifters, just to get everything up onto the platform. But here we go. We've got the shuttle body here, so it comes down. These two thruster modules, they stage, they wait. And then eventually they'll come down here, so perfect. Once they get pushed by the other set. Alright, then these come into position here. They get welded. That triggers that piston, which pushes to this crazy lifting staircase, which is just pushing it over, pushing it over onto this conveyor, which then comes up into this second lifter staircase, which is kind of weird. Pushes it up into here. There we go. Up into there. And perfect over to here where we will assemble the final pieces we'll just kind of slap them on the front and then we should be able to shove the whole thing over to the final assembly so we've got to put two little thruster or shooting I think those are guns lasers I don't know we got to put two little laser cannons and uh, two cockpit pieces I guess so we're gonna weld these two together here it's just really easy stuff now it's two pieces and same sense with this one and we'll weld two of them together. And then I guess we'll just weld like these two together and just we'll, we'll lift up one set, put it on top of the other while we're waiting and then just 
put it all we can because we can just weld that as one big assembly to the front and i think it'll be easier that way rather than welding all four individually so here we go so this should give us the two no okay there's a big time delay there we go okay perfect and then we'll just rotate them both right away and uh one will go up and one will go over and one will go over to i guess this position which is where we'll weld it like that here we go max height all right excellent and then we'll now we can do stuff with this and we'll just feed it over to here all right there we go oh the thruster thruster module here we go okay perfect so now that whole thing is assembled and we can just put this on a uh, piston with a sensor and we can somehow deploy it somewhere. Uh, where are we gonna, actually we can deploy it from up here, right, right. So we'll just put a piston, whoops. Put a piston there. And we'll put this running to a sensor over here. Right, so when that sensor triggers. Oh, whoops, that's the wrong spot. We need a sensor up top. There we go. So when it triggers up top, it will deploy the entire mechanism forward perfect just like that now we have a lovely piece which we can then attach to the front and we'll have to stage it here because i don't know how long it's gonna take okay so let's see where the body is at by the time we're done assembling one of these pieces and then we should be good to go okay so rotate lift up perfect drop back down all right excellent so that's one piece ready to go. Where's the body? Not even on the staircase yet. Okay. All right. It's already on second piece. So we're definitely going to need a stage two. Okay. Here comes the first body. Oh my God. It's so slow. It takes it so long to get over here. All right. It's coming up the elevator now. So that's three. So we're probably going to need a stage. Like the fourth one will be the one that triggers the first one to actually go. Here comes the fourth one now. Yeah, it's gonna be the fourth one. Okay, so we'll trigger we'll trigger that, and then this fourth one will come here, and I think it attaches right like that, and we should be able to weld that on to the side here, right? And then we'll just have it push off with a piston from somewhere in front of the thruster. That's We'll figure out where, where the front of the thruster is. I don't I don't know yet. We'll figure that out. But let's see if this even works. Okay, so let's just hold fast forward. It's going to take a while. All right, once this is going, though, it'll be pretty quick, I think. But it's just, it's getting that first piece up here. Okay, here we go. So that goes perfect. Oh, you know what? It actually pushes it back one. Okay, so that's fantastic. So that's one, two, three. So I think it's here. And then it'll just, that'll just feed it off. So we don't even need anything else. That's amazing. All right, is this going to work? Here it comes. Perfect. And then this will just feed and feed. And then I think it lines up just like that. All right. Is that, is that correct? I really hope this works. All right. Coming up on the first body here. It's finally getting through this giant maze of stuff. It's amazing. It's a huge assembly all the way from over there. So it's got all the body pieces, the engines being put together. They're being brought over to here. And then that little assembly getting put together. All right. Moment of truth. Is it lined up? Of course it's not because I don't know how to play this game still. There we go. Let's go check out the body assembly. So this assembly, it's a really cool one. I mean, obviously just welding those two together, flipping, rotating. You know, that's pretty cool. This one, though, is awesome. I love, I love the dual layered and then, of course, having the AND gate just to make sure that the body gets sent out as one completed piece and not, you know, two individual strips. That's just awesome. And then, of course, the AND gate resetting itself here, you can see. So when the body goes away, see, this sensor pushes that conduit back over. Just amazing stuff. And then, you know, getting fed through the giant staircase of lifters up over to here, up over to here where it gets attached to a body piece. Here comes the first one, finally. All right, getting sequenced with the fourth. I'm not even going to try and increasing the cycles because if we do, it's going to screw up all this sequencing and these are just going to come too quickly. And I mean, it would just be a nightmare. So we're just going to let it run at this speed. Here we go. 
Are you gonna do it? Boom. Perfect. Are you serious? Are you are you flipping are you flipping serious? Okay, is the next one gonna push it into the spot? Does the next one Okay, there we go. Wow. I th th This is This is actually ridiculous. You know, it's fine. It's fine. You know what? We're just gonna let it do it that way. I don't even care. I don't even care at this point. We could put we'd have to put like a conveyor up here under the This is ridiculous. It doesn't it doesn't just why okay, whatever. Alright, so this is going good. We're just gonna speed it up, let it run out the rest of them. Here we go. It's a very, very slow process. We're gonna be on the very low end of the cycles, I think. We're like already ooh, 400. Ugh. This is gonna be this is gonna be a bad one. Let's see what we get. It is the final puzzle of this section, though. I'm ho I don't know if it's the final puzzle of the game. I'm hoping it is. Um yeah, pretty bad on the cycles. Footprint score, uh, pretty bad. And block score pretty bad. You know what? It was just pretty bad overall, but that's okay. We got it done. Completed. Final performance review. Let's see what it is. Alright, here we go. What do you have to say? Wait, what? It's a bomb? Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. No, 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 no. Whoa. Oh, we're, we're screwed. Oh, oh, that, oh, that's, that's great. Hey, stay with us. This is going, awesome. We're getting rescued. Going. Come on. I wonder Come if it, on. this is just like some, going. are there more puzzles? Do we get to fight the aliens now? Oh, cool. Hey, Dave, what are the puzzles in here? Are there more puzzles? Overlord campaign. Oh, and then there's a resistance campaign. So we have to do a whole series of resistance missions. Teleporter experiment one. This is awesome. We get a new block, I guess. Okay, what do we do, Dave? Here it is. The teleporter. Uh-huh. For lack of a better term. Uh-huh. You send an object in one side and it drops out the other. If the object is... Oh. Bye, Dave. Yeah. Okay, I guess we just went to another dimension. This is awesome. There's like dimensions now. Okay, you know what? I didn't I didn't even hear your explanation, Dave. Sorry, sorry, Dave. What about how do I Oh, I still have all my pieces. Upside down conveyor now? What? This is so cool. There's upside down con Oh man, this just changed the game. This just changed the game. Look at this. We can just do this and do that. And then just go lifters and go uh, let it go out to here. Lifter up there. Look at this. This is so cool. Okay, then one more lifter here. Okay, only a piece of it went in. That's not good. Actually, we can just do that. That's easier. Okay, so then we'll see what comes out the other side. That's so cool. <laughs> that's amazing. That's, that's the coolest thing ever. Upside down conveyor. All right, this is easy stuff though. And then we just, you know, we feed it out here and, and then we go, do we have a right side up welder? No, we don't. We still only have sideways welders. You know what? That's fine. We'll go like this. This is so cool. I'm so excited to play this new campaign with all the new missions that are going to come about. And then boom, shakalaka. That should be it, right? That's so cool though. Oh, right. Of course. Of course. Whoops. There we go. Uh, oh, sorry guys. I just got so excited by the upside down conveyor. It just kind of ended. There we go. Look at that. So cool. All right, Dave's got some cool tech. That's for sure. Yeah, everyone, everyone did the same thing. Cycle score, footprint score, and block score. Continue to barracks. That is amazing. But anyways, guys, we have unlocked so many more experiments. You can see more teleporter experiments. So we're definitely going to continue with those in the next episode. But make sure you let me know what you think of this series in the comments down below. I honestly wasn't expecting the game to continue. I mean, I, a couple people said it did. I thought for sure, like, maybe there'd be, uh, I don't know, some challenges or something. But I didn't think they'd have a whole extra continuation of the campaign. But make sure you guys, of course, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And while you're at it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we'll see y'all next time.
Thank you.